What a beautiful day this is. The wind is blowing, but it's awfully cool and nice for a nice fall day in Northeast Alabama. A heartfelt welcome to every single one of you. This is a special time when we both salute our veterans and we give thanks to all who have served and sacrificed. But today, let's not only thank those who served and continue to serve, but let's also pledge to do everything we can to support those American heroes today. I'd like to introduce any dignitaries that we have at this point. Uh, is Mayor Alberta McCrory here? Commissioner Fred Wilson? Are there other dignitaries? There you are, Fred. Stand up, Fred. Yes, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Let's give Fred a hand. <clears throat> Calhoun County Commissioner, thank you very much, Fred. We're very grateful to the JSU ROTC Color Guard for the presentation of colors. Would you please stand? I have a pledge of allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, one republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the Please be seated. Good morning, folks. Uh, Good morning. I'm Captain Retired, Navy Captain Retired Jim Williams. Uh, it's my honor, absolute honor, to welcome to 
say a second welcome to you folks coming here. Um, we have been wondering if we were going to have a rain date <laughs> or a deluge to deal with. Uh, thankfully, we do not have that, and so uh, we we feel comfortable that we can uh, do the ceremony as we would like to have, have done it. Um, let me give you just a brief history of, of Veterans Day. A lot of people confuse Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Um, Veterans Day is to celebrate all who has served uh, in uniform, uh, living or dead. It actually goes back uh, to the uh, to the founding of the Republic and, the, and our armed forces. Uh, the date of November 11th was chosen originally as Armistice Day, uh, which was the, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918 was when the truce ending World War I went into effect. And so if, when a holiday was originally declared, it was named Armistice Day to recognize those veterans who had served in World War I. Um, in 1938, it was made into a federal holiday. And in 1954, uh, President Eisenhower uh, redesignated the holiday as Veterans Day to recognize all veterans who had served in all of America's times of, uh, of service. And it has been that way ever since. Um, but again, I want to emphasize that um, there is a, dis a critical distinction between Veterans Day and what we celebrate here and Memorial Day. Um, it's my honor, uh, and I, gu I guess the, the, the way that it's, it is my honor, I guess I am the senior officer president, <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, but uh, it, it is my honor to uh, uh, recognize all of those that had Identif uh, had come forward and, and uh, given us the information to be able to do certificates uh, and, and listing in the program. Um, I have never, in 30 years of Navy service, uh, I never had something go off without any hitch whatsoever. And we've already discovered that there was one glitch in the program. <laughs> one of the people we have a certificate for. Uh, that is not listed in the program, uh, David Talley. And uh, if there is anybody else, uh, I have my apologies on that. Please bring that to, to our attention. Um, what I would like to ask uh, veterans to do is I will call uh, by name, and uh, if you would, please step up here and receive your certificate, and uh, then, we'll, uh, then we'll go from there. Can you hear me in the back there all right? Okay, okay, okay. Um, Warren Adams. Warren Adams? Okay. Jimmy Angle? Randy Boyer, a fellow squid. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a breed around here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Roderick Bradford. Roderick Bradford? Roderick Bradford. Okay. Huh? Michael Brandon Chandler. Michael Brandon Chandler? Okay. 
Bunny Cole. Bunny Cole. Richard Davis. Richard Davis. Patrick Dennis. I'm going to present to Ralph Drake. Incidentally, I think I think it's worth noting that, to the best of my knowledge, Ralph Drake and Jim Justice here are our two senior veterans, Korean veterans. Joseph Funderburg. Lawrence Gable. Clinton Gamble. Johnny Gamble. Jorge Gomez Jr. Jorge Gomez Jr. Okay. Jorge Gomez Sr. Jorge Gomez Sr. Roy Goodson. Incidentally, I would like to thank uh, uh, 
Roy Goodson for uh, helping us out here with some of the chairs. Uh, he has the funeral home that's our neighbor next door here, and he was gracious enough to, uh, to lend us some chairs so we had adequate seating for this. James Holiday. James Holiday? Thank you. <laughs> Jeff Howard. Jeff Howard? Martha Jordan. Thank you. I don't know about this guy, Jim Justice. <laughs> I'm a litter bug. <laughs> Amos Kirkpatrick. Edward Loveliness? Edward Loveliness? Wanda Lyles. Barbara Mason had uh, contacted me and let me know she could not be here this morning. Cedric Mason? Cedric Mason? Joshua McClellan? Joshua McClellan? Michael Mercer. Michael Mercer. Okay. Carlos Middleton. Carlos Middleton. Okay. Calvin Miller. Calvin Miller? Howell Patton. Howell Patton? Byron Piles.
John Richardson. Cerna. Reginald Stewart. David Talley. Matthew Thomas. Matthew Thomas? Ramonte Van. Reginald Whatley. <laughs> Walter White. Walter White? Fred Wilson. John Norris Wilson. certainly not least, one of our most honored guests, uh, Trish DeFries, representing the Women's Army Corps Veterans Association, Harry's Chapter 62. How the wax are, they have to clear. <laughs> we love our pictures. Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> Let me ask all veterans to stand. We're going to do the, the Armed Forces Medley. 
Let me ask all veterans to stand for their service song. Okay? Everybody knows their service song, right? Let, let me just ask, are there any veterans here that we did not already know and recognize during the program? If you would, please stand up. Thank, thank you very much for honoring us by your presence. We have now positively established what I do not do well. <laughs> um, yes, and incidentally, if you, if those of you who we did not recognize will please come in afterwards. Let's get your names. We want to get certificates to you. Okay, uh, that'd be our, our pleasure. Uh, let me ask everybody to stand now for a moment of silence for those who. Uh, are no longer with us.
me introduce uh, Paula Hillian McClory and let her tell you just a bit about the program that she is involved with. Paula? Thank you all very much. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for your service. Um, I am a daughter of a Korean war vet and a wife of a deceased Vietnam vet. Um, and so this is very dear to my heart, and I try to contribute in a way that I can by working with organizations that promote veterans and helping them in education. I'm working with Veterans Upward Bound at Gadsden State, and this program started in the 1970s to address the needs of Vietnam veterans as they came back to try to transition them into jobs and careers and education. Gadsden State began their program in the 1990s. And it is a pre-college program that helps veterans get back into school, whether it be an academic um, process or technical school. So what we do is we help you in any way possible with tutoring, with uh, getting your benefits. We do community outreach. If there's a problem, if you need help with food or programs, we will connect you with those programs that will help you with housing in any way we can. Um, we work with veterans courts in Calhoun County, Etowah County, Jefferson County. Um, and we help those veterans get back on their feet. We serve 10 counties in the area, and there's only two of these programs in the state, here with Gadsden State, as well as up in Huntsville. Now this does not mean you have to come to Gadsden State. You can go to any college of your choice in our 10 counties, and we will help you. We will help you get started, we will help you get enrolled, and we will help you along the way with any kind of educational help that you might need. So um, I have some socks there for you veterans inside, so if you'd like to come in and um, pick up a flyer about our program, I'll give you a pair of socks. And um, I don't think, I do want to say that um, if I've had some veterans come in that are not interested in, in actual doing college classes. Um, they only want to come in and learn how to do email so they can email their grandchildren or beef up their computer skills. I had one gentleman that wanted to find out how can I shop at Home Depot online. So we got them all set up. So this is a program that will assist veterans in that way. So please, just because it says it's with Gadsden Community College does not mean you have to be enrolled in school to join our program. Thank you all very much for your time. God bless. Please stand for the retiring of the colors. Thank you again for coming. This has been a very significant occasion. You may be seated. 
I would be remiss if I didn't ask you to acknowledge Jim Williams for the magnificent job he's done in putting this together. Thank you, Jim. It's wonderful working with Jim and Beverly, Navy people, and all you military people. You all are organized and you know how to get things done. I appreciate all of you. We've had a good time here today. We're here in this nice, I don't care if the wind is blowing, it's a little cool, but we're free, aren't we? Yes. We're free people. That's right. And I am so appreciative of that. Every one of you, whether you've been in the military or not, you've probably supported a military veteran. You know somebody in your family that's a veteran. I didn't grow up in a veteran family. I grew up in the hot plains of West Texas and somehow or other, I just, we didn't have military folks in our family, but how I respect and honor all of you. I've learned so many years since then that what a high honor it is to have served in the military, and I greatly appreciate you. I appreciate the freedom that we have here today. The building behind me is called the Jim and Shirley Justice Center, and this is the patriarch, Jim Justice. We have wonderful food inside for you. We would like you to come in, have the reception, and thank goodness it hadn't rained today. Mr. Goodson, we had a plan to go over to your chapel if it, if it didn't work, and so <laughs> maybe we did. Maybe we'll come to your chapel later on. But thank you very much. What a beautiful day. And so let's um, say we're adjourned. Come inside, and Paula has some really nice gifts for you and some really good food. We know it's the, look, it's quarter to 12, so we've got some nice food, some really cakes, and coffee, and water. So please, please, come on in and join us. Jim, you have anything else to say? One thing, uh, uh, if you would, we have a couple of cards inside, Thanksgiving Day cards. Uh, there is a recent uh, JSU graduate who has uh, been deployed with his unit somewhere overseas. I know how this goes. <laughs> And uh, what I'd like to do is have as many people as disposed to do so to sign one, one or the other of those cards, and we will send it off to him and his unit. And I can tell you firsthand, uh, it is surprising how welcome those things are. So please go inside and thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. <laughs>